Diversifying one's investment portfolio is one of the key ways of managing risk. In short, it's the practical application of the old adage, don't put all your eggs in one basket. It's generally prudent, therefore, to diversify by stock, sector and geography. Few people would argue the merits of investing long term in a single US technology stock, for example. Diversifying by asset class offers a further dimension. There are five core asset classes. Equities are shares in publicly traded companies and listed on a recognized stock exchange. All those of non-public companies commonly referred to as private equity. A single share represents fractional ownership of the company in proportion to the total number of shares issued and therefore typically entitles the shareholder to that fraction of the company's earnings. Bonds are essentially a form of IOU. The issuer of the bond, typically a government or company, is the borrower, and the investor in the bond is the lender. In return for making the investment, the bondholder will receive interest, generally at a fixed rate throughout the predetermined term of the bond, and the repayment of their capital at the end of that term. Real estate refers to property, in the form of land, and the buildings on it, along with its natural resources such as crops, minerals or water. Residential real estate refers to property intended for domestic occupation, whereas commercial property includes categories such as office buildings, retail shops and malls, factories, hotels, warehouses, hospitals, care homes and garages. Commodities are natural resources that are intrinsically valuable and or necessary for the production of other products or services, for example gold, gas or oil. Most commodities are raw materials, that is to say agricultural or mining products such as iron ore, sugar, wheat or coffee. The final asset class is cash, which requires little in the way of explanation. Its chief advantage is that it can be accessed immediately without the need to trade an asset in the marketplace. Asset allocation can be regarded as the exercise most central to any diversification strategy. And so it's important to think about what blend of asset classes would work best for your portfolio based on your investment objectives.